With the whirl and hum of shredders and rollers, sweet sorghum made its way through a scaled-down version of a sugar mill. This plant at the LSU Wag Center's Audubon Sugar Institute is processing the sorghum to make biofuels and specialty chemicals. We're going through the, the same uh, sets of knives and uh, shredder that you have, you know, with sugarcane, and you're actually going through the mills just like you would actually be processing sugarcane. And uh, what we hope to get from this would be, of course, the juice. The juice extracted from the sorghum can be clarified and concentrated into a syrup that can be converted into ethanol and eventually into butanol. Lejean says butanol can be mixed directly with gasoline and is more attractive to the auto industry than ethanol, but producing it comes with added cost. The conversion technology today is very expensive, and that's what some of our, our uh, partners are trying to do is look at the conversion technology in hopes that uh, we can do this a lot cheaper and more efficiently. This was the third time researchers at Audubon processed sweet sorghum through the mill. Lejean said when sugar cane harvest starts in the fall, they will run energy cane through it. Energy cane is a variety that has more biomass than sugar cane. Sweet sorghum typically does not have the concentration of sugar that sugar cane has. But it's a crop though that you can actually plant from seed and you can harvest in 120 days. Sugar cane is planted from stalks and takes a year to grow to harvestable size. Not much sweet sorghum is grown in Louisiana, but researchers are looking at it because it offers several advantages. But it's a crop that we call a low input crop or a sustainable crop. That is, it requires uh, relatively low inputs. It can be grown on what we call marginal soils, and it can be grown in relatively droughty conditions. The mill is part of the LSU Wax Center's Sustainable Bioproducts Initiative. With the LSU Wax Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.